Welcome to episode 10 of the DraftKings Light Podcast. I'm Jason Jones, Senior Recruitment Marketing Specialist. What up, Meg? Hey, not much. I'm Meg, Talent Acquisition Associate, uh, back in Boston finally. So it's been good to be back, but I, I can't believe this is actually our final episode of season one and all over Zoom. It really makes me miss the studio. How are you? What's up? One, where did the time go? Just like, <laughs> you know, where'd the time go? But I'm doing well. I'm coming off a great weekend with some scorching hot weather, mm-hmm. spending a few days on the golf course. Otherwise, I'm excited for this week's guest with a great first name. Oh, yeah. This week, we are focusing on the customer experience team and their exponential growth over the last few years. So with that, I'll welcome someone I've had the pleasure of working very closely with in the past, Jason. Hi, Jason. Thanks for joining us. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about what you do at DraftKings? Uh, Hey, guys. Hey, Meg. Hey, Jason. Great for his name. And I think DraftKings does lead uh, corporate America and the number of Jasons on the team. Uh, no complaints. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> That's right. Um, so yeah, I, I am a VP of customer experience and community. I've uh, been at DraftKings for a little over four years. And um, we are responsible for talking to our customers uh, across each of our, our businesses. So daily fantasy sports, sports book and casino. And that's through several digital service channels across four locations, uh, email, chat, some phone, and social media. Awesome. Well, nice welcome. welcome. Um, today, we're going to be running through some questions just to get m- to know more about your DraftKings experience. But first, I'll just start by asking how you're doing with quarantine and the cr- current state of the world. I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, uh, making sure everybody across the business is safe. And, uh, you know, I have two kids, so, uh, you know, we worked hard to make sure that they finished out remote learning well, uh, trying to have as normal of a summer as possible and still staying safe and preparing them for the upcoming school year. But on the CX side um, and across the company, our team has been fantastic. I would say we rallied along with the rest of the company to, to be there for each other. And I think we really uh, learned early on how to transition from, you know, the initial couple of weeks of, of working from home and, and dealing with COVID-19 as a group and being there for each other. And then really, uh, you know, learning how to, um, you know, turn it up and be ready for an increased volume because our business is doing well. So a lot of check-ins and Zoom meetings and conversations, uh, which is great. I think we've actually gotten to know each other really well throughout this uh, last couple of months. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad you're hanging in there. Um, I'd love to hear more about a day in the life of Jason Miziano, DraftKings. So just walk us through it. Cool. Sounds good. Um, a day in the life for me um, really starts with a lot of connection with the team. Uh, so we obviously, um, you know, uh, on a Monday uh, specifically, we'll check in to see how uh, we, we did over the weekend. We obviously have thousands of conversations every day. Uh, so we look at how we performed, um, how many conversations we had, and we also look forward. Uh, so we start to plan for upcoming events. Uh, we obviously are a data-driven company. So in CX, we're fortunate enough to be able to layer on real conversations to the data to bring it to life. So at the same time that we're looking at data, we are talking about experiences that our customers had. And as part of those thousands of conversations a day, I will meet with our partners across the company on upcoming initiatives, uh, make sure that we're talking about providing the best experience we possibly can for our customers uh, amongst any of those experiences. So it's, um, it's really fulfilling. I would say we are close to the customer. We're close to the rest of the company. I would call us uh, part of uh, the central nervous system of the company because we do have that connection to customers. For sure. It's really cool. Thank you. Um running through that. So take us back to the beginning. Let's see, the year was June 2016. What brought you to DraftKings? Um, that's a great question. So uh, back back at my prior, uh, one of my prior roles, uh, a buddy and, and myself started playing on DraftKings um, as one of our customers. And um, we always joked, we said, hey, one day we're going to work at this company. We had an office in the same building as DraftKings. Um, so every time I worked out of that office, I'd, I'd report back and say, oh, did, I, did, you, did you bump into anybody from DraftKings? And I said, maybe, but they don't know it yet. 
Uh, so uh, I actually, um, I didn't have any connections to the company. Uh, I was watching the career page and um, I saw the posting for head of customer experience and I posted for it. So I, like many others uh, at the company, went through the interview process um, from scratch, start to finish. So uh, I was contacted by recruiting, had a phone interview, came into the uh, old Summer Street office uh, to interview and was offered the opportunity to work for Janet Holian, who was our CMO at the time and, and you know, uh, very close to the beginning of the company. And, and really, uh, DraftKings was just a DFS company at that point. So, you know, it's, it's amazing to see how far we've come in the four years uh, since I started. So it's really, it's been a great experience. So what you're saying is dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so, that's right. <laughs> just messing. No, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, so can you break down what, so what does the CX team do and why is it so important to DraftKings? So yeah, we, uh, we talk to our customers uh, first and foremost. I mean, we are there to talk to our customers about the product, what they're experiencing. We do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, including holidays. So, you know, we have associates having Thanksgiving dinner with their families and then jumping back to talk to our customers about the three football games that are happening that day. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're, like I said earlier, that we're the central point for our customers. We get feedback from them. Uh, we are essentially harnessing the voice of the customer. And that's one part of our job that we take really seriously uh, because we use feedback to improve the product, to make changes, and really to learn. Uh, we, we, we care a lot about what our customers uh, say and how they respond to us. Uh, we have a team within CX dedicated really solely to working with our product, CRM, and tech teams on a daily basis to talk about that experience. So we use the data. Uh, and the reasons why customers interact with us to you know, provide our product teams an overview of the experience. And then we really help them um, together to improve that, that, the product. Uh, the team's important. Like, like I said, we were, we're the voice of the customer, but we're also the voice of the company. So every chance we get to speak to our customers, whether it's one-to-one -one or one-to-many, if it's in community forums, uh, we, we take that opportunity. Uh, we, we, we want to impress them, provide world-class service. And we know that that, that creates a, a lifetime of loyalty. It's one of the things that's going to help us win uh, and be really successful. So we, we, um, if we show them that we care, then we know that we're always doing the best for them. Awesome. Great. So um, I've obviously been involved in CX, hired, or CX hiring. We did the big push last year. I know you guys just are wrapping up or have wrapped up this year as well. Um, so I know what it's like from my point of view, I'd love to hear your perspective on what the hiring process is like, um, what it's really like to do a big push for NFL season hiring. Yeah, we uh, we worked closely together on that, uh, Meg, mm -hmm. last year. I think last year um, we brought in about 60 associates. Was it 60 or so? M my number at the end, was like 91 but oh. i think that was over months afterwards too i think the big push was probably somewhere 60 65 something like that gotcha so we we were able to top it again this year we just closed out about 85 folks across three locations um and you know i think when i when i started in 2016 uh, that first nfl season we hired uh, probably about a dozen seasonal associates to help us uh, work with, you know, the increased demand that we face. And we've refined that process over the years. Um, I think, you know, it's pretty smooth um, right now. And we obviously have a great relationship with our uh, TA uh, counterparts um, to accomplish that. Um, the, our hiring process in general for CX is, is very cyclical. So I think the one thing that we did different this year is that we bumped it up a little bit earlier uh, because we knew that just the way the calendar was going to align based on COVID, that we were going to have this huge spike as sports start to return. We've seen it with PGA and UFC, uh, but now we're going to come up uh, to MLB, NHL, and um, the NBA uh, later this month. So um, that was kind of a little bit different this year. So we do tweak it every year. But really, it's a collective effort. I mean, I I would say, you know, a, a lot of our leadership uh, spends a good portion of their time 
throughout the months of May, June, and July, talking to uh, potential um, uh, employees and applicants. Uh, and really, um, you know, we we spend a lot of time uh, through that the conversations and the onboarding process because you know we care a lot about the folks that we onboard. We want to see them be successful here, and we want to see them, um, you know, come into the company and really do great things. So uh, I would say, yeah, we learn something every year that really helps us. Uh, we'll probably tweak it again next year, um, but we'll see what happens. Love it. <laughs> so what kind of training does the CX team receive and do different teams in the organization listen in on CX calls to understand user pain points to better improve our products? We do, um, we, we do a mix of training. So we do, we start off with, um, you know, an onboarding to DraftKings, like like every other uh, employee, and then we will we'll go into more of, I would say, um, not a traditional classroom style training, but um, more of uh, an overview of um, the key volume and key processes that the associates will work with, and how it relates to the bigger picture across uh, the, the DraftKings customer base. We do have buckets of of interaction types that we normally you know, talk to customers about. It's not only about the product and the contests and the bets, uh, but we help them manage their accounts. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, nuances there that we want to get folks really accustomed to. And then we move right into, um, you know, an on the job uh, shadowing where somebody um, is paired up with a, a team lead or a senior associate, and they can, they have the opportunity to ask their peers and their, their leadership um, how to do certain things. So it's very much a gradual introduction, but you know, it, it is, we don't have the luxury of waiting several months to have folks uh, be ready. So um, I think the training is geared towards having um, our, our new hires be uh, ready as soon as possible uh, to talk to customers. Um, and we've had, you know, successful job shadowing uh, initiatives in place over the years. Um, it's obviously a little bit harder now that we are spread out all over the country, but um, we've worked to include job shadowing into new hire onboarding across the company. So uh, everybody that starts at DraftKings has a contact. They know who to reach out to in CX to be able to schedule a job shadow. And we welcome it. Um, it's everybody from Jason, Matt, and Paul, uh, all the way down to anybody else at the company that wants to get a flavor for uh, what our customers uh, say and how they uh, correspond with us. Because it really does help. Um, it, it's great to see um, you know, that, that the company is customer focused. Um, it's one of our core values. And I think in, until you see uh, that firsthand, um, it, you know, you, 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 you miss out on, on what our customers um, are, are like and how they, they interact with us. Yeah, That's really cool. I actually, um, I shadowed Lance who was on his episodes coming out or will be out by the time this airs. Uh, so that's how I got to know him. I shadowed just before I started getting into CX and all of that. It was definitely super helpful and um, really cool to see like how much work goes into working with our customers on a day to day. Um, so firsthand experience over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great for, you know, it's it's how we we have folks meet each other across the company as well, you know, because hundreds of yeah. people come to us and ask to shadow and then, you know, you, you chit chat and you get to meet another connection at the company. For sure. Yep. So what are you looking forward to about this NFL season? Is it different than normal? Or like, how are you guys preparing? So I think we're trying to prepare the same, um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, we did move up our hiring a little bit, so that'll help um, our, our folks uh, be a little more seasoned by the time NFL kicks off. But this is always a um, an exciting but pressure packed time of year for us. Simply just we are preparing for the season and, um, you know, it, it's one of our core ten pole events uh, each year. So I think we just really don't know. Um, if there's going to be any impact on the NFL season, uh, we're hoping that, you know, there'll be a new normal NFL season and that a lot of the uh, schedule will be uninterrupted. But we will be prepared, uh, like always, to pivot if we need to. Uh, but I think we're going to be ready and we're hoping and assuming that the NFL season is going to start on time. Um, I think it's September 10th this year with Houston at Kansas City. Not that I have that earmarked on the calendar or anything. 
The day after my birthday. So I will oh, oh, happy early birthday. <laughs> right. Thank you. Do you have a calendar, Jason, that just like counts down the days? <laughs> I, I do. It's in my head. It's in my head. <laughs> Good. But I think what the other piece is just, you know, the return of sports and, and, a, and a normal NFL season or somewhat, um, it's just a much needed uh, relief of stress for everybody. So we're welcoming um, everything that comes along with um, what's going to happen with the NFL season. Cool. Is there a recent CX story where, where we went above and beyond to assist a user that you can share with us? Yeah, I actually have a really good one from earlier this year. Um, I will say as part of our um, training and how we develop our associates, we work closely with uh, the Customer Service Institute of America. So all of our uh, associates go through a CX professional certification program. And then we were actually fortunate enough to be named uh, the DraftKings CX team. I received a gold certification as an organization uh, from the CSIA uh, last year. So yeah, we were, we were really proud of it. It's a thorough uh, review of our uh, how we care about the customers, how we have customer focus across the company, all of our you know uh, processes, and so we're really proud of that. Um, additionally, one of our team leads, Dan Lapera, was recognized as a customer service professional of the year for an experience that he provided. So we have a um, we have a program called the Winner Circle where um, we reach out to customers proactively if they uh, have a win um, that. Uh, we want to talk to them about. So we had reached out to a customer um, who won a uh, major league baseball contest. And uh, during the conversation, uh, Dan had uncovered that the customer was going to take his family to Disney as uh, just like this dream vacation of a lifetime. And Dan said to him, hey, you know, send me a picture when, uh, when you get there. So a couple months later, we get a picture of uh, this customer and his family um, at Disney as a result of a contest he won playing on DraftKings. And the cool thing where, where uh, Dan tied this back and just went above and beyond is he noticed that the customer uh, had a Texas Rangers hat on in the photo. We figured out that he lived close to the Texas Rangers ballpark, so we arranged for him and a guest to have a on-field batting practice uh, VIP experience um, at the Texas Rangers home park. So it included a QA and a with a uh, couple of the players and an hour-long batting practice. So just the, the, the reaction from the customer um, as a result of that collective experience that we provided him um, was just something that, you know, it, it, it makes the, the, the role worthwhile when you can do those types of things for folks. Um, so we're really proud of that interaction. And Dan won uh, like customer service professional year be because of that story. That's special. That's, so That's cool. really special. Yep. I remember seeing the picture of him. I don't know if he was holding a trophy for some reason. I have an image of him holding a belt oh, in my he, head. I don't know what it is. He did. They, we got a trophy that, um, <laughs> that sits in the office. I think he got one for his home too. So I'm sure it's up <laughs> on his fireplace mantle. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> brushes it off before it goes to bed and you know all of that right. um awesome well we're getting close to the end of our questions here but i just want to ask you what's one piece of advice you have for a candidate who's looking to join DraftKings? i would say uh be ready to work hard and, and but you're gonna have fun doing it uh you know, I, I have met some of the smartest and most passionate people of my career um, at DraftKings. Uh, so, you know, I think collectively the company just cares tremendously about um, the different perspectives that uh, folks bring to the company. So um, it's a welcoming environment uh, where, you know, you'll be able to flourish. So um, I would just say, yeah, be prepared to work hard, have fun, and you're going to meet great people. Great advice. And 8,000 Jasons. 8,000, <laughs> yeah. Change your name. Uh, your name's Jason. Jason. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, this is the time where we transition into our two minute drill section of the podcast, where we are going to ask you some lightning round questions to get to know more about what makes you more specific, Jason. Um, All right. And Jonesy's going to start a timer for us, and we're okay. good to go. Where are you from? I am from Long Island, so New Hyde Park, New York. Nice. nice. Favorite sports team? The New York Rangers. 
NHL is my favorite, and I am uh, a bit of the enemy up in New England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what do you miss most about either HQ or 125 High Street? I miss uh, the camaraderie and the energy. I think when you walk into the offices, it's just, it's electric, um, and it inspires you to, to just buckle down and have an awesome day. Yeah. Uh, do you have a quarantine hobby that you've been getting into? <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know what? That's a good question. Um, my hobby is trying to keep my kids busy and uh, yep. entertain them. So that's really what I've been focused on. Well, I'm sure that can be exhausting. So favorite way to relax? Favorite way to relax is definitely, um, it's actually been two things, our pool and badminton, believe it or not. Love that. Yep. Ocean, lake, or pool? So I just gave a little bit of a glimpse into this answer, by the way, I answered the previous question. Um, I, I love the pool, but um, I was, we went to the beach every Sunday uh, as kids and then for a week in the summer. So pool, but I equally love the beach. What are you streaming these days? Any shows or movies? I've found um, lighthearted things have been the best things to stream. Um, and it's, um, uh, stand-up comedy and the floor is lava for the kids. Nice. Love stand-up comedy. Uh, favorite celebrity's name, Jason. Jason Alexander from Seinfeld, because that's my middle <laughs> name too. <laughs> nice. Love uh, that. Okay. This is the last question. Yes. Go for it, Jonesy. All-time favorite musician or album? Hands down, 100% Pearl Jam. Uh, I've seen them 53 times in concert. So wow. that answers that question. Wow, ultimate fan. That's, that's <laughs> wow. right. Love it. Awesome. Well, thanks for doing that. Um, I didn't know you're from Long Island for some reason, so that that helps. And you know, don't hate on the lakes either. I grew up I'm <laughs> yeah. such a lake girl. I, I have nothing against lakes. In fact, <laughs> I'm wearing a Point Sebago shirt right now in Maine, Perfect. so we've gone to Sebago Lake. Uh, so. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. You've been great. It's been awesome getting to know more about you and um, talking about the CX team. So thanks. Uh, and before we close out the podcast, thank you, Jason. Uh, what's a motto or mantra that you live by every day? Um, I'm going to quote a Pearl Jam song called Light Years. Um, there's a quote that says, no time to be void or save up on life. You've got to spend it all. So I think it's, uh, especially in the COVID environment, you can't you have to take every day and appreciate it. You can't take anything for granted. And I think it translates to the CX world. Like, hey, when you're talking to a customer, make sure that that customer knows that you have their complete focus. Uh, don't look to the next interaction. Pay as much attention to that one as you would anything else. So don't take anything for granted. That's great. Love that. Thank you. That sadly wraps up season one. Don't worry. Meg and I will be back with even more great guests. In the meantime, if you want to keep up with all things DraftKings culture, follow DraftKings Life on social media. Until next season, be safe, be kind, and take care. <laughs>